And welcome back to Wanda North Recreation Reserve for Grand Nom Grand Final number four today, I should say. Between Mombolk and Wesburn. Um, under 12 girls, it is. Take a look at the head to head matchup between these two sides throughout the season. Mombolk won the one matchup. And that game there was Mombok 2 3 15 defeating Wesburn 1 4 10. So, pretty close game. We'll take a look at uh, too far away from just now. So, as mentioned, it is Mombok versus Wesburn. Looking forward to what should hopefully be another enthralling contest at a couple of good grand finals so far. And we we'll hope to keep that theme up for the rest of the day. Just two to go from here. He's been just coming away from their huddle, Mombok. Already in position and appear to be a little bit short of numbers today. Mombok finished top of the ladder, but just the 15 players on the park for the day. So we to see how that works out for them. So it all starts in the middle. Clear Stuart the Ruckman for Person, sorry, for Wesburn. They're underway. Grand final number four of the day. It's the under 12 girls. It's Bombok versus Wesburn. Ball's currently in the hands there. Not the Dawson of Bombok now. Wesburn can send the ball inside forward. 50. Good kick. Interception forced there by Holly Chatain. He just brings it back into the middle of the ground. Dangerous one. Can it might be taken? Yes, it can. So they continue to press down the line. Do the Hawks. Not a bad looking kick. How is the bounce? Not really fortuitous for them. Harper Toy just couldn't quite get it under her control. Any number surrounded. We will have a stoppage inside the centre square. Just forward to centre for Mombolk. So up it goes. Tuck one down here for the Hawks. Toy just couldn't quite get it under her control. Just bobbled forward for the moment. Then a little soccer kick as well. Handball comes away. Mombok with all the representation here. They can get themselves inside forward 50. This could be an early opportunity. Can stop but get it under her control. No ran past it. Little kick away there by Pearson. And we might have an early injury. Umpire might have to umpire's call them to go. Interesting decision here because we do have a player down behind play. Eventually, so the free kick to be taken by Stewart of Wesburn. And eventually, the umpire has. Yeah. He's back up in her feet, at least, which is good to see. And set mark almost taken there on that occasion by Chillingsworth. And they can go inside forward 50. And another stoppage at half forward here for Mombok. We've got the early territory so far. Back up in the ruck once again for the Hawks is slim. That's a strong tackle to have a repeat stoppage. And just going laterally just towards the boundary line. Slim grabs it out of the ruck but then was dispossessed. Nice Stewart. So once again up goes the ball. Slim gets the tap. Does that okay on that occasion to Dawson? Couldn't quite take it cleanly. Ball heads towards the boundary line. Tracking it back there is Pearson. And Dawson once again, and they can't get the ball in place. We'll have another stoppage just inside 450 now for Mombok. Just got the early challenge so far. Stewart and Slim. Dawson gets the kick away, and that'll work out just fine. Good bit of vision. And hits the target. So ball currently in the hands there of Joseph. And just going through the middle of the ground, probably not the best option. It's going to be turned over here, forced by Paige Hugo, who goes to centre half forward with his kick. No mark can be taken. 
Busting through now there is Joseph once again. Not Joseph, sorry, in fact it's Patterson who gets the kick to about centre half forward. No mark will be taken. Could be an opportunity for Wesbury to go inside forward 50. And here come the Hawks back the other way. Kick down the line, probably not the best. All the representation here for Wesbury and Stewart. Pink for the throw. So this is Harper Wentworth. Two kicks from home, kicks up to half forward. No mark can be taken through the hands. This could be the opportunity from Lombok for the first goal. Attacking it there for Wisburn. Looked like Harper Toy once again. Here we go. Dawson in the area. So too was Patterson. Nothing forthcoming just yet for the Hawks. Here we go. This could be an opportunity. Kick towards goal is there. And Lombok get the first. <laughs> so they locked it in eventually. Fly in the middle, straight over the goal umpire's cap. And looks like it was Wentworth who got the goal. It's a good start this for the Hawks. Only lead in the game, about halfway through the first quarter. So once again, ball comes back in the middle. Slim and Stewart again to do the battle in the run. Yeah, are they? There you go, Slim. Probably just had the better of the contest so far. Did it well to get it down to Dawson, who's taken in the tackle straight away. She just soccers it laterally and then gets it under her control. Goes for a bit of a run. Can send them inside forward. 50 kick, probably not to the advantage of her teammate. Spills over the back though, tracking it back here is Patterson for Wesburn. Gets away from the couple, burns them off beautifully. Here we go. Accelerating away there from Stockford, but the kick might be turned over. Tracking it back there was Brooke for Bomba. Inside 50 once again here for the Hawks. Repeat entries. Applying lots of pressure and then taking the tackle there was Clarkson. And now only about 35 metres out from goal for the Hawks. So once again back in their end of the ground, Slim just got a little fingertip on it, spills out the back though for Wesburn, good tackle laid, umpire happy to call it to go. Now here they come Wesburn, up the middle of the ground, not a bad looking kick, Von Volk though, seem to have the numbers currently in the hands there of Hugo, sends the ball back the other way but she's turned it over. And well read there by Claire Stewart, parked herself underneath it. Just assessing the options up ahead, not a whole lot to go to for the time being. Little chip kick down, clear, no mark will be taken, just through the hands there of Chitain. Comes out wide, this could be another opportunity here for the Hawks. Score at in there for Bombolk. And once again comes to half four, trying to bust her way through here is Patterson. She's done that really well too. Gets the kick away on the right board to turn one in favour of Bombolk. But it's going to be the Wisburn players going to get out the back here, just not able to get under control as Newing. Tracks it back, gets the handball away. Now another opportunity kick to the top of the square. It's going to be turned over, is it? No, little kick towards goal. Stays in play. And eventually Mombok get the kick away for the time being. Risk still leave it in the end. The mark is taken. And Paychu go on the end of it. And it comes or just flies over the head of the moment of Dawson. Interesting ball to try and control here. Just on the ground. Dawson trying to go inside. And then the fresh air swing. Here we go. Picked up the ground. And then the ball is going to be by Dawson's testing the options up the line. Chip, hit, up the option. It's going to fly over the head there of Spore. And now kick coming off the boot of an occasion there of Lyle and McCoy. Oh, I want to see the hands tracking it back here for Bob Bob. Here's Gray. Kick just going over the head there of Slim. Get to the area of control of the brand new. Got to get to the ball on the handle. Handball there of Harper Toy to start that Slim now. Gets a low kick off the boot. To a tall line favour in Westbury. Bob Bob is going to get the numbers out the back here. Oh, beautiful done there. Very nice second control there by Stockton. Sends him inside for a 50. Little bit of a falcon. And now Bob Bob is under pressure. Beautiful done on that occasion by Parker. Amber comes away, Stockton once again. Taking on the tackle straight away, kick goes inboard. 
in all sorts of danger here with Burn, but now they're away through the middle of the ground. Thanks, Dan. Coming off the boot on that occasion there of Abby Brooks, sends him inside 450 for Mombach, spills out, that could be an opportunity for Barbara, she can control it, can't do so. Now tracking it back for Wes Burn, is Bellows, who just gets a little chip kick away, but she's turned it over the in the hands on this occasion of Chitain, kick was smothered. Now Whitworth gets back, the only goal kicker on the park so far, sends it into the pocket. Interesting bounce, it really favour either side. See you guys. Stewie's here for Wes Burn. Here is Slim, onto that right boot, can't quite get the kick away. Not cleanly it was anyway. Yeah, now, once again, it's the end. Three Thanks for coming. Three you kick. get here right on 12.30. The ball up uh, right now. Right. Right. We got it. We got those there. Uh, so once again, here. Slim, pitchy uh, break away. Quite interesting looking handball. Happy to let it go. Uh, and okay. okay. this ball's not going anywhere. Once again, the up line falls for him. So off it goes. Slim just taps it back. Here we go. Chance for goal. Cross the face. Thanks for coming, Dan. Through from behind, so Dawson unable to find the target of the goals. Good. One goal six, one goal one seven it is now. So the scoring being done so far by Mombok. And that kick in, dangerous, and that's a turnover. And Mombok have got the ball back, and I believe it's Zara Sporat who's taken the intercept mark. And a kick at 20 metres required here. It's offline, unfortunately. This is Sporat, sorry, in fact, Dr. Chillingsworth just didn't quite have the kick on target. So Wilson now with a free kick for Wesburn. So Wilson dangerously back into the middle of the ground. Slim is there for Mombol. So too is Sporak. Or Sprout, to be sorry, in fact. No Sprout, sorry. So a couple of times incorrectly. Here we go. So another stoppage inside, 450 for Mombol. Slim got the clear tap there. Looking for Dawson, couldn't quite make it work. Stewart tries to crash her way through. Here's Wentworth once again, tackled. And penalised for a throw. Good decision there by the umpire, right on it. And we might have another player down behind play here. So we've already had a couple of injury concerns already. It was Brooks Stopford was the initial one, and it could be actually Brooks Stopford again. He might be down behind play here. So not what you want to see. So we've just got a bit of a stop in play at the moment. So on this occasion, fortunately, Harper Wentworth has seemed to have gone down with a bit of injury. So right away once again here at Wandon and Freaky gonna go the way of Wesburn. <laughs> so once again, God, another injury, it just absolute wars out here at the moment at Wandon. So not the ideal start at all. And there's the signs that that'll be quarter time here in the under 12 girls grand final in the outer race. The scores here, Mombok 1-1-7, good start for the Hawks. Wesburn yet to get a score and we do seem to have a few injury concerns early days. But we will take a short break for quarter time. When we come back we'll have all the action from the second quarter. Tomorrow I want to look into the canteen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the last 
In the under 12 girls grand final. Once again, Lombok looking to try and get the early territory. Dawson tries to get the kick away, just unable to do it without being smothered. Now, currently in the hands there of Gray. And they go inside forward 50 for the time being. Here we go, here's an opportunity. Wentworth got the first goal, heading towards goal. The kick wasn't exactly to the intended target, but it started to roll in that direction. And now we'll have another stoppage inside forward 50 for the time being. Gray's once again, here we go. Gray gets away from a couple. Lost control of the footy. Sorry, it wasn't Gray, it was Chillingsworth in fact. Just couldn't quite get through the traffic. We'll have another stoppage inside forward 50. For Mombol. Here we go, kick towards goal. Offline. So once again, good start here by the Hawks. Got the territory so far. And it comes and dangerously done there by Wesburn. Dawson cuts it off. She can line them up from about 20 out directly in front. In she comes. Ava Dawson been pretty good so far today. Looks so right off the boot, just offline. So 139 they are now Mombolk. Just couldn't quite seal off the deal, could Dawson. So Wesburn once again to bring the ball back into play. Long kick almost to about half forward. The mark couldn't be taken by Stewart. Once again, Mombok looking to go back the other way. The handball came away momentarily there from Stopford. And we're going to have another stoppage inside forward 50. So Mombok really locked it into their end of the ground for the moment. Wesburn can't really seem to find an avenue out. Tap down by Slim. Huge pack of players surrounded. And there's a free kick here for holding the ball, and this might be the opportunity for Wesburn to get the ball clear. So not a whole lot of options up ahead for the moment. Up and under ball, going to be a tricky one to mark. Through the hands there of Sprout. And once again, this is another free kick here for Wisburn. Oh, There's going to be a free kick. There you go. Slow, slow down a little bit here. Up and under ball, who can mark this one, just bounces along the cricket pitch. Tracking it back there for the Hawks was Ernie, but just couldn't quite get it under her control. But eventually she does on the second attempt, gets the ball moving forward. Kick to a one-on-one. -on -one. Chillingsworth's got to get there for Mombok. She does too. Puts it inside forward 50. 
Only momentarily though, through comes Wentworth. And Stopford as well. And now Wisburn can force the turnover. They look to go through the outer side of the ground once again. Can they find a set of hands that beats Stewart? Looking now to get to the area there of Hayward, but she's unable to take it under her control. And now once again the kick gets moving forward here for Mombok. Who just kept the ball there half of the ground. Good strong tackle out on that occasion there on Chapman. And we're going to have a stoppage once again just outside the forward 50 of the Hawks. So once again up it goes. Huge numbers around at soccer inside forward 50. Dribbling, dribbling and rolling. Wentworth did well. Swings onto that right boot. It wasn't Wentworth, sorry. In fact, it was Dawson. Puts it inside forward 50 and they've turned it over here, Monbox. So Wesburn can get it back. Through the middle of the ground they go. No mark can be taken there by Newing. And I think we're going to have another stoppage here. No free kick for high contact. So the umpire right there to pay that one. The free kick to go to Jasmine Ernie. Not be too far out to score, you would think. And Ernie loads up on the right. Can she find the set of hands on the bounce? A ride, and Ernie might have to track back her own kick here, but Chapman getting there first for Wesburn. In the end, though, Ernie doing pretty well to provide the contest for the Hawks. And now here we go, there might be a way here, Wesburn. Here's a full way forward, but Mombok seemed to have all the numbers for the moment. Plenty of numbers tracking it back. No, oh, gee, they didn't communicate with each other. Confusion between Chatain and Brooke. Eventually, though, Mombok do get the ball away, but I think they've turned it over here, but it's through the hands of Chapman. Stewart gets the bounce of the ball. She handles back to Chapman. Gets it to about ten and a half four, but it's just all Hawks jumpers here. All with the bounce wasn't planted. Eventually, they get it under their control. Through the middle of the ground, but that's going to be a turnover. And Stewart has had a pretty good game so far for the Dogs. Potentially put them back inside forward 50 here. Here we go, kick inside forward 50, not a bad looking one here. Weston, great inclusion back into the side, kick coming off the boot of this occasion of Bowie Gray, gets the ball moving through the middle of the ground. Where's Ben got a bit of representation here, but Mombok starting to get numbers across to the contest as well, current in the hands of Mackay, heads towards the outer side of the crown, interesting kick. Plenty of numbers once again here for Walmart and for Westburn. Dawson chases it, but it beats her to the boundary line. We'll have another stoppage out of sight of the ground. So up it goes. They get a kick away for the moment to Mombok. Going to be a tricky one to mark on this occasion. Heads towards the boundary line. They keep it in play for the moment. Here we go. This could be the opportunity. Kick to half forward for Westburn. No mark can be taken. Plenty of players in this contest. Ball currently in the hands of Ernie. Just gets the kick away in time. But Westburn once again forcing the interception. Here is Slim. Well, she paid the mark. No umpire calls them to go. And it's going to be a free kick now for Mombol. We'll go to Slim. He's just happy to take her time for the moment. A long kick down the line. Can a mark be taken? No comes to ground level, but they might be away here. The Hawks once again. Really horrible bounce. Just a leg spin. A bouncing backwards about 20 metres after the kick. Going at least about 30 or 40. So where's been once again with the opportunity? Chapman did well. Up and under ball. Going to be a tricky one to mark. And it comes to ground level as expected. Dawson once again involved. Gets the ball under her control. Gets the kick away eventually. Not really to anyone in particular, though. Going to be a tricky one to manage this, and now a free kick for Wesburn. It's a bit of a game for tennis at the moment. Both sides have their opportunities. So a kick goes down the line, and very well done there by Slim. Read it beautifully. And nice and clean with the intercept mark. So Slim down the line. Once again, ball comes to ground level. Plenty of numbers around it here. Wesburn got good representation, but they've turned it over once again. Kick coming off the boot of that occasion there of Dawson once more. And here we go, Mombok. A potential four-way forward, but they've turned it over, holding the ball. And no advantage to be taken, so it is going to have to come back to the spot and where the tackle was held. So 
So holding up defensively, Wes Byrne, they just can't seem to get the ball down to their end of the ground. Through the middle they go. This might be the daring bit of play that they need, but beautifully controlled here by Chetain. Can you get the ball moving back the other way? Up and under ball, good part taken there for the Hawks. They decide to play on. Interesting decision there. Might still work out for Bowie Gray. Inside forward 50 she goes, but Wes Byrne get the numbers back. And they repel that one from Mombolk and once again looking to go through the middle of the ground. Wes Byrne, dangerous play. Chapman couldn't quite stick the mark. Dawson in the area once again for Mombolk. Chapman went back to win it at grand level and did so, but she was tackled right away. And we are going to have another stoppage inside the centre square here. Just outside forward 50 of Mombolk. So once again, Slim winning the tap. Ball comes to grand level. Huge numbers around it. And we are going to have another stoppage. So once again up it goes, Slim just slaps it forward, she's done that well, Dawson just lost control at the last moment, Wesburn desperately trying to wheel that ball forward, Dawson again, here we go, she breaks away, does Dawson, gets to the arc of 50, kicks to the top of the square, the mark isn't taken, is there an opportunity at the back, no, Wesburn have done well for the moment, they get numbers to the contest and they win it back but now kick towards goal is a dangerous one but again the dogs defending grimly the kick comes away but for how long once again Mombok just forcing this turnover Dawson involved again she's been so busy for this first half played a brilliant game so far still just a nine point margin in the game just the one goal and that was for Harper Wentworth in the first quarter and Mombok looking to try and get a second one here Slim just tries to grab it out of the ruck, but it was a good contest provided as well there by Stewart. And once again, we will have another stoppage at the Clegg Road end of the ground. Mombox in, that is, as well. So tap comes down. Wentworth in the area. Can she get the kick away? Wentworth got the distance, but just not the accuracy. And through for a behind. So 10 points to the margin it is now for Mombolk. Deep into this second quarter. So I'm wait for the ball to come in, back into play once again. Oh, interesting kick into the pocket. That could be trouble. And that is going to be out of bounds on the full. So Mombolk are going to get it back. Here we go. Kick towards goal. The check side. And the mark is taken. Slim right on the goal post, so she's got a bit of an angle to contend with here. And unfortunately, the check side on the left just doesn't quite work out. So Mikey Slim just unable to capitalise on the opportunity there. It was a tricky angle. And definitely a reprieve there for Wesburn deep in this second quarter once again try to come up the middle of the ground daring play and again it hasn't paid off Bowie Gray takes the intercept mark she plays on here we go gets close enough of the mark is taken beautifully done by Bowie Gray finds Holly Chetain and she can line them up from about 20 metres out directly in front kick towards goal is offline and there we go right on the sirens of the scores here at half time at Wanda North Recreation Reserve and the under 12 girls grand final for the Outer East. Mombolk 1 5 11 are currently letting Wesburn yet to score. We'll take a short break for half time. When we come back, we'll have all the action from the all important second half. Here we go, so it's an 11 point difference at the moment, the way of Mombolk. Dawson gets the kick away, heading forward, tracking it back here. Was Chetain of Mombolk. So they get the early territory in this third quarter. To the Hawks. Dawson tackled straight away and receive high contact. So a free kick to go the way here of the Hawks. 
not going to waste any time. Gets the kick away. Might not have been Dawson, sorry, but comes to half forward. Here we go. Another opportunity. A full way forward here for Mombolk. Up and under ball. Can someone take the mark? No, they can't. Comes to ground level. Kick around the body. Good bit of vision. Just fell short. In the area there was Ernie. For Mombolk. Umpire calls them to go. Here we go. Kick towards goal. How does it bounce? Straight to the middle. Second goal of the afternoon, Brooke Stopford puts it through and Mombolk extend the lead to 17 points. Westburn still yet to get the goal and well the Hawks, they're doing a pretty good job considering they've only got 15 players on the park. They are making it work beautifully. So we for the ball to come back into the middle of the ground once again, so Mombolk with an early goal. In the third quarter, good way to start. So once again up it goes. Slim just grabs it out of the ruck but she's tackled straight away. And the umpire calls for it so we'll have another stoppage. Inside the centre square. Getting the kick away. Nothing forthcoming for the moment. Tracking the ball back here for Westburn. Getting the kick clear was Newing. Just couldn't quite find a teammate. Just falling short of Brook for Mombolk. Plenty of numbers there on the outer side for the moment. So once again up we go. Slim taps it away. Here we go. This could be an opportunity for the Hawks. They get the ball moving through the outer side wing just tracking it back though there was Patterson and she gets the kick away it's a long one too for Wesburn but she's turned it over and doing a nice job there in defence looks like Gray from Mombolk who just goes down the line with the kick beats a couple and they might be away once again here what can Wentworth do? Just sockers it forward for the moment. Just tries to paddle it in front of herself. The ball just bounces a ride. And now where's Burn? They can get the kick away but doesn't get too much distance on it. And now Mombok really swarming the numbers in the middle of the ground. But here we go, where's Burn? Here is their opportunity. The handball comes away. Comes back to Newing. Kick inside forward, 50. How's the bounce? Oh, they've done this well enough. Mombok is holding the ball. No umpire calls them to go. Handball back into the middle of the ground. And now a snap. How's the bounce? Mombok get the numbers back for the moment. They cut it off. And now they might be able to get the kick away. Still play on, says the umpire. I think eventually we'll see a ball up here. Wesburn throwing everything at Mombok. And here we go. Here's a free kick in front of goal. So Maya Chapman needs to kick this goal. And she does. Better goal there for Westburn. They get their first of the afternoon. We still have a game on our hands here in the other 12 girls grand final. Just 11 points separates the teams. And Maya Chapman stood up when her team needed it most. Important goal that was. A lot of pressure was on that kick. But she was just ice cool. Put it through. And still a game on her hands here at Wanda North Recreation Reserve. The fourth grand final of the day. Once again, we're back in the middle. Now, opportunity once again. Gray lays the tackle. So, Wesburn suddenly just reintroduce a bit of life into the game. They can go inside forward. 50 here, the Hawks. Stockford is the target. She's in a bit of a three-on-one though. Wesburn got the numbers here, but the bounce of the ball did favour Stockford. Eventually, Wesburn get it under their control. They just can't get the ball out of though. The Mombok pressure really good at the moment. And here is Gray. Umpire says play on. It didn't go long enough. Good kick from Gray. Just got a full short though of the teammate. Still a chance though, Mombok. Picked up at grand level there. Kick around the body. Just didn't quite work out in the end there from Ernie. And the ball just beelines the boundary line. She was looking for Clarkson, just couldn't quite get it to her in the end. So good build up here from the Hawks. Looking to provide a response to that Wesburn goal a couple of minutes ago. Up it goes once again. Slim with a tap inboard. Oh, just bounced away there 
from Dawson and Wentworth taking them the tackle straight away. So Slim gets the tap out, but it was Shark beautifully on that occasion there by Newing. He gets the kick clear. Now chasing after it. Here is Joseph for Wesburn. Can't pick it up cleanly. Here we go. Repeat entries for Mombog. Slim. Kick to the top of the square. Who can take the mark? No one for the moment. Wesburn got to get numbers back here quickly, and that they do. And now they're away. Up the middle of the ground they go. Can they find a chest here? Yes, they can, but it slips through the hands. Now Mombok under a little bit of pressure because Wesburn has suddenly sprung a bit of life into the game. Here's a free kick here for the Dogs. Got to start getting numbers back. Here we go. Wasting no time. The trigger's going to be pulled in a couple of moments. The kick just beating there. Newing, who tracks it back eventually. Can she get it under her control? No, not cleanly. And good pressure provided here on that occasion by Chillingsworth. Ball heads to the outer side of the ground. Does it stay in play? Yes, it does. Wesburn desperately trying to get it in there, but in the end, the ball does make its way over the boundary line, and we will have another stoppage to the outer side of the ground. So once again, Slim and Stewart in the ruck. Slim probably just getting the better of that tap. Trying to get it at ground level there was Pearson for Wesburn, but unable to do so. So let's see what happens on this occasion. Up it goes once again. Both rucks getting a bit of a tap on that one. Just running past the ball there was Chetain. Couldn't quite get it under her control. Now a chance opens up again for Wesburn. Good tackle was laid. And once again the Hawks are away. Kick back into the middle of the ground. No one can take the mark. Trickles through the fingers. Here we go. Currently in the hands of Sprout, who's pinged for holding the ball. So it's currently in the hands of Patterson for Wesburn. Long kick to half or Can a mark be taken? No. But they'll get the bounce out the back here. Kick inside forward 50 from Pearson. Just didn't quite get there in the end. Kick to a 2-on-1. Mombok do seem to have the numbers here. Looking to take the ball over the boundary line is Brook. Can she do so? Not for the moment. And we will have a stoppage in the forward pocket here for Wesburn. Who've really brought some momentum the last couple of minutes. Ball not going anywhere for the time being. And once again, the umpire just calls for it. So a stoppage in the forward pocket at the Clegg Road end. Wesburn's end of the ground of this quarter. Slim did well, grabbed out of the ruck, got the ball up the middle of the ground. Wentworth in a one-on-one. -on -one. Can she get the ball under her control? Yes, she can. And she runs the ball up the middle. She hasn't turned it over, has she? No, she hasn't. This will work out just fine. Stopford has a bounce. Gets to 30 metres out. Make that 20 metres. Has the kick at goal. Has the bounce. It's home. Oh, what about that? Heart in your throat sort of stuff. Stopford, the kick was initially off line, but she got the off break to straighten it up. It's through for a goal. Back to 17 points the margin. Three goals the difference it is now. 3 5 23 are uh, Mombok leading Wesburn 1 0 6. <laughs> Only a few minutes to go in this third quarter. And a very late goal there. Not the one that Wesburn would have wanted to concede. Gets the margin back to 17 points. Slim was tackled immediately. She got it. Anyone's ball to be won at ground level. Umpire circling, but happy to call them to go. Newing, did she get the kick away? No, she's been dumped in a sling tackle, so a free kick to Wesburn. Newing knows there's not a lot of time, so she has to play on, but the umpire, oh yes, 25 metres, here we go. So this could be a golden opportunity coming up for Wesburn if Newing can make the distance, because there's not going to be a lot of time left. Newing plays on. Kicks to the top of the square, it's off line, but it goes out of play. And there's going to be a free kick for last kick rule out of bounds. So that's not going to be any issue for Mombok. Oh, interesting one off the knee. And we are going to have a ball up inside forward 50 for Wesburn. They'd love to try and snag a late goal here, just get that margin back to 11 points. It's suddenly within striking distance. If they can do that. Up it goes once again. Slim taps it back in, brought a dangerous spot to go to. This late in the quarter, free kick for high contact. It's going Wesburn's way. 
And the recipient will be Joseph, who hands it away. Newey, who's been busy in this third quarter, sends it inside 450, but she's turned it over. And Mombolt can just slow things down. So the kick comes away. It was a good intercept mark there by Chillingsworth, but she's turned it over as well. Wesburn maybe with one last opportunity before the quarter's out. Here we go. Ball rolling away. Now Mombolt are away. They've got players over the back. They've got a one-on-one. -on -one. That's not a bad looking kick, actually. This could work out just fine. If Spoke can get it under control, she can't. Eventually, Wesburn get numbers for the contest. They've outnumbered them, and we will have a stoppage inside the centre square. Not too long to go. So once again, up it goes. Slim smashes it forward. Wentworth just couldn't quite take it cleanly. Could have been a throw. Umpire said it's fine. Inside forward 50, they go. Stopworth. Already kicked two. Can't control this one. And eventually, Weston gets it under her control, but she's turned it over. Now here's another opportunity for Mombok from about 40 metres out. Approaching the ball is Clarkson. Just slapped in front of her. Clarkson goes in for a second effort. Picks it up at grand level. Got the handle away just in time. Spokes is there. She'll be first to it. Will Spoke? Can she pick it up cleanly? Just overran it slightly. And bodied off the ball beautifully there by Patterson. There's a free kick for high contact. It'll go the way of Wesburn. Can't be too long left to go in this third quarter. And there's a siren, in fact. So that will be three-quarter time here in the under-12 girls' grand final. Had a pretty close game it has been so far. Mombolt 3-5-23, still leading Wesburn. One goal straight, six. 17 points the difference at the final change. We'll take a short break for three-quarter time. When we come back, we'll have all the action from the all-important final quarter. So about to get final quarter action underway. At Wanda North Recreation Reserve in the under 12s girls grand final. Fourth grand final of the day. Not too long to go and straight away they're out of the front of the stoppage here. Long kick inside forward. 50 coming off the boot there of Dawson. This would be the golden start for Mombok to get the margin of 23 points would be massive. Here we go. Opportunity. Wentworth hits the post. Can you believe that? What a golden start that would have been. Harper Wentworth just unable to capitalise. The margin now is at least an even three goals. 3-6-24 three, to one goal straight. So definitely got the advantage at the moment and the upper hand to Mombolk. Wesburn still got time, but they've got to get things moving pretty quickly. So through the middle of the ground they go once again. Anyone's ball to be won here. What can they do, the dogs? Stoppage in the centre square out of side of the ground. Once again up it goes. Tap down there by Slim. Anyone's ball to be won here at ground level. Taking on the tackle there was Dawson straight away. Now it's currently in the hands of Chillingsworth. Doing pretty well for the time being. Taking it hard there was Gray. They can go inside forward. 50 here, the Hawks. One more goal and you reckon they've just about won it. But there's going to be a free kick to Wesburn. So good opportunity here for the Dogs. Recipient to be Patterson. So up and under ball. Bit of a pitching wedge this one. And the mark is taken. Well read there by Dawson, who's probably been the best player on the ground. Who's just happy to assess the options, just directing a couple of troops as well, is Dawson. Puts it inside, forward 50, but a good intercept mark taken that occasion by Chapman. So now Wesburn, they've got to get things moving quickly here, still down by a couple of goals. Chapman, wheels onto the left, up and under ball, going to be a tricky one to mark. Pitches in front of everyone, the ball bounces straight back to her as well. Now another up another ball through the middle of the ground. Stewart takes a good mark. Very important that was for Wesburn. 
She just steps back off her mark, just waiting for a couple of numbers to get back because there's not a lot at home at the moment for Wesburn. Stewart eventually goes for a bit of a run, gets close to the player on the mark, through the middle of the ground, just through the hands there momentarily of Paige Hugo, and eventually now the free kick's going to come the way of Wesburn. So slowly but surely getting that ball forward. Looks to be Beddoes with the free kick here. Right on the cricket pitch. Kick to about half four. And that'll work out just fine. Mark is taken and they're going to play on as well. Weston gets close to goal. How does it bounce? Was it touch? No, it's a goal. Here we go. Back to 12 points. It's game on. Where's Burn not done with yet? Harlow New in with the goal, very important. Getting it back to 12 points. Let's wait for the ball to come back into the middle of the ground. So important first blood there. For the dogs. We've still got a game in our hands here in the under 12 girls grand final out. They come to the front of the stoppage. No mark can be taken. Suddenly the pressure's on Mombo. Here come Wesburn. Inside forward 50. Oh, beautifully done though. Steadfast in defence was Barker. Back with the flight. Didn't know what was coming the other way and she took the mark well. But it's a dangerous kick inside the middle of the ground. Slim's got a contest. Ball comes away. Once again Wesburn trying to force their way back inside forward 50. They've got all the numbers at this contest. Chapman picks it up and it's going to be a stoppage. Not too far away from goal here. So suddenly Mombolk might have shut up shot just a little bit early. We'll find out what's happened in a couple of moments. Here we go. They might get a breakaway here. Was she taken off the ball there? Chetain. Umpire calls them to go. Free kick for high contact. Going to go the way of Wesburn. This game's certainly not done with yet. Wesburn. Bringing all the intents in this final quarter. Stewart is there, but the ball bounced away from her. A couple of Mombok players tracking it back. Currently in the hands there of Paige Hugo. Gets the kick through the middle of the ground. Dangerous one once again. Bouncing all the way back to half-back. Can you believe that? Newing gets the handle away just in time. Does it work? Not for the moment. Crowd want ball. Umpire says play on. Ball just dribbles its way to half-forward. There's another free kick for a hold. And Mombok can't believe it. The Mombok fans cannot believe that one. So the recipient, Mackay, probably just too far out to score. Can she find a set of hands? Kicks towards the pocket. Oh, just through. No mark can be taken. Mombok suddenly just losing a bit of control in this game. Ball heads towards the boundary line. Got all the representation here. Do Westburn Pearson got it away just in time. Was it a throw? Currently now in the hands of Ernie. Gets the ball moving forward. But once again, here come Westburn. Kick coming off the bird on that occasion there of Weston. Puts it inside forward 50. Goes in for a second effort. Umpire circling. And we're going to have a stoppage inside forward 50 for Westburn. Only two goals behind now. About six or seven minutes to go in this final quarter. And Mombok want to shut up shop early. Stewart, is that ball? No, umpire calls them to go. Wentworth gets the kick away. But Wesburn have got all the numbers. Here comes Weston. Puts him inside forward 50. No mark could be taken. Needed to be held up for Mombok just to slow things down a little bit. Eventually they do get a kick away through the hands of Slim. Weston goes in, soccers it forward. That might work out okay. Chapman just paddles it forward as well. And the umpire calls for the ball once again. Frantic stuff at the moment in the last quarter. Wesburn with all the territory. They've kicked the only goal so far. Slim grabs it out of the ruck, gets the kick away up the middle of the ground, but Weston did well. Cut it off. She's got to go. Stepped off her mark. Up and under ball. Has this gone the required distance? Chapman nearly took it. Just couldn't quite take it at the last moment. Here we go. Now there might be a way. Oh, the bounce just comes right there. Just did not favour Bowie Gray at all. And Wesburn still with a chance. Chillingsworth's got the ball now. She's turned it over, as you know, through the legs of everyone. Gray goes in for a second opportunity. Comes out the back foot once again. Wesburn with all the representation. Terry picks it up. Comes the other side of the ground. And that's going to be holding the ball. One more goal here, you would think, for Mombok. Wesburn have got to try and repel this attack. Got to get numbers back there quickly. Gray. Loads up on the right boot, sends it to half four, and they might just do that, but it was through the hands of Weston. Coming across two there for Wesburn was Wilson, but now here's a chance for Mombok. Kick towards goal! 
is home from the pocket and that should just about do it you would think what a finish that was from the pocket Zara Sprite cleverly done ice in her veins and they needed that desperately Mombok because Wes Bird were coming they get the margin back out to 18 points and time starting to run out now for the dogs and really one against the grain of play you would have to say because it was always burning there for the past four or five minutes. So we wait for the ball to come back into the middle of the ground. Only one more grand final to go after this. That's been a very strong performance so far by Mombolk. And they'll be thinking now if they can just hold up play for a couple more minutes, they'll take home the cup. Still time in it for Wesburn though, but they've got to get the ball moving out of this centre clearance. Here we go. Up it goes once again. Tap couldn't be won by Slim. Currently in the hands of Dawson. She was tackled straight away. The goal kicker there in Spoke. Taken off the ball was she? No high contact said the umpire. One or the other. And it is going to be a free kick. In fact, it's going to go to Chillingsworth. Umpire calls her to go. She steps around, gets the handball away just in time. Would have been holding the ball otherwise. Wesburn desperately trying to get the ball in there. Here comes Stewart. Too far out to score. Sends it inside forward 50. Is the mark taken? Yes, it is. Ewing has to wheel and go. And that she does. Kick probably wasn't to the advantage of her teammate. Stewart is in the area though for Wesburn, but eventually Mombolk on the counter attack. Going to the far side wing. Bit of a one-on-one -on -one contest here. Can Wentworth win the foot race? Will Harper Joy? We'll find out in a couple of moments. Eventually Wentworth take it in the tackle. Now Pike calls for the ball up. Out of side of the ground. Only about three or four minutes left in this final quarter. So once again up it goes. Slim in the ruck. Probably got the better of that tap for Mombolk. Chapman tackled straight away. And repeat stoppages. So once again up it goes. Mombolk just willing it forward. Wesburn desperately trying to repel. Nothing forthcoming at the moment for the Dogs. Really good defensive pressure here at the moment from the Hawks. And just a real bit of a scramble at the moment. And once again the umpire calls for it. So we'll restart. Time really starting to tick away now for Wesburn. Mombok will certainly not mind this. Here we go. This might be an opportunity. Coming away there momentarily was Gray. She handballed backwards to go forwards. Didn't quite work out for her in the end. The umpire calls for it once again. So just holding it up pretty well on Mombolk. Just got to hold out till the siren goes. Here is Chapman. Dispossessed. And ping for a throw. There you go. Well, that's not what Wesburn needed. So Slim's going to take the free kick. Definitely too far out to score, but certainly in no rush. Puts it inside forward, 50. Nearly fell into the lap on that occasion at Stopford, but didn't quite work out. Now they've got an opportunity. Here is Wentworth. Can she get away? No, she can't. Still gets the kick on the boot. And just misses. 4-7-31 they are now. 19 points of the difference. It's a handy point, you'd have to say. Because with only minutes to go, and now means it's four goals required for Wesburn just to get themselves back in front and here's the turnover, Ava Dawson best player on the ground hasn't kicked a goal so far but this really did cap off her day, in she comes, close to the uh, player on the mark and squeezes it in 25 points of difference and they're home now Mombolk an incredible <laughs> I'm losing my words here incredible performance considering they only had 15 players on the park Certainly hasn't seemed like it today. They've been very, very good. Defensive pressure, very good. And with only a couple of minutes to go, they probably put the result beyond doubt now. We wait for the ball to come back into the middle, but only about a minute or so to go before that final siren. And in no real rush is the umpire. So one last ball up in the centre. Stewart probably got the better of the tap for Wesburn. Once again, plenty of numbers around it. 
And still a chance one last four way forward. Chillingsworth kicks it away. And that'll do. Mombok at home in the under 12 girls grand final in the outer east for season 2024. 5 7 37. They've defeated Westburn 2 0 12. Commiserations to Westburn. It was a pretty solid season. Their third grand final appearance in a row. Unfortunately, not able to get the job done today. But congratulations to Mombok. And has to be said, a very good effort with just 15 players on the park. They've done a very good job today. So congratulations to them. We've still got one more grand final coming up. That will be our under-14s girls grand final, which is not too far away, but we will have our post-match ceremony coming up soon. So plenty of action still to go for today here at Wanda North Recreation Reserve. Congratulations, Joe. 
Bye-bye.